Hello everyone, welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I thank you and praise you for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for our life and our health. Thank you for your companionship and all of the blessings that you give us from day to day. Father, we glorify your holy name because you are so faithful and kind to us. Your mercy endures and your grace abounds. Father, where would we be without your grace? I thank you and I praise you, Father God, because you are constantly looking for our good, constantly guiding us and directing us back to the path of righteousness when we stray away, Father. Thank you for the call that you have on each and every one of our lives. We glorify you and we praise you. And once again, we ask that you will be with this devotional today. Help us to understand what the author has in store or in mind and help us to be attentive to the calling of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled Mathematics. It was written by Oriana Aguado and translated and presented to you by your sister Lisa Marie. Our biblical base is Matthew 25, 23. So says the word of God. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Mathematics is a science that is instilled in us from the first moment our parents enroll us in school. Some of us like it, some don't, and others, as the years go by, fall in love with it. The thing is that, whether you like it or not, we use it in our daily lives. The interesting thing about its teaching is that it becomes a chain in which each link depends on the other. We start by learning numbers. Then we learn to perform operations with them, addition, subtraction, etc. When we reach high school, it becomes somewhat difficult because we have to apply what we've learned previously. And if we didn't acquire the knowledge properly, we won't succeed. The same happens when we reach the final stretch. If we didn't take the different cases and procedures seriously, we won't be able to solve a problem. For example, you won't solve an identity or an equation because the algebraic cases you saw at the beginning were not well understood. Something similar happens in our spiritual life. As we advance, sometimes we become careless, disregarding things that seem small to us. However, these often result in great falls. Understanding then that nothing is insignificant, that everything we learn, no matter how small, we must assimilate and apply. When the great test comes, we can emerge victorious because one day we were faithful in the small things. Amen. could list through the night into the sea of forgetfulness he added in his righteousness and saved me from his wrath now if you don't think that's a miracle working god do the math and loaves that's more than just a myth and what he had left over was more than he started with he divided up the red sea to let his people pass now if you don't think that's a miracle working god do the math Problems and 
my heart aches to boot He not only saw some He knows a square root He doubles up on his whole work It's a line into my path Now if you don't think that's a miracle working God Do the math My brothers and sisters, as we grow, we have to have a firm foundation in our spiritual life. A firm foundation starts with basic knowledge of the Word of God, basic understanding of who God is, who Jesus is, what role the Holy Spirit has in our lives. And then as we grow our spiritual lives, we build upon that knowledge, we build upon that understanding. So many people fall in this way of life because we try to grasp hard and difficult concepts without first knowing who our Savior is. We can't skip steps in our spiritual life, just like we can't skip steps knowing our math. We can't come into kindergarten doing algebra unless you're a genius and you first learned your numbers and addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all those things first. We can't skip steps in our spiritual lives either. So my brothers and sisters, if you're struggling in your spiritual life, if you're not grasping the things that you believe that you should, start back from the basics. Go to the Word of God. Start praying, fasting, reading the Bible, talking with others who have been in this way for a very long time. Start at the basics. Learn the basics before you try to grasp the more difficult concepts of the spiritual life. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.